Hey guys, uh, welcome to your um, love reading uh, for Aries. This is new love. Uh, Sun, Moon, Rising, Venus. Uh, signs for January 2022. So these are the Aries individuals that are currently dealing with somebody new. Either you just started dating this person or that you just got into a relationship with this person. So we're going to see what this person is currently thinking and feeling towards you and what their long-term intentions are moving forward with you. Okay, so just apply this to your own unique situation. Like I said, it could be just someone that you just started dating or started a relationship with. Uh, perhaps it could be a future event that's going to happen where, you know, this person, uh, you'll meet this person later on. So, like I said, just apply this to your own unique situation. Switch the words if you want. Uh, keep in mind that this is just a general reading, so just take what resonates and leave the rest behind. If this message didn't resonate, take a look at your other placements. Um, if you guys haven't done so yet, hit the subscription button and the notification bell so that you guys get notified on when my new videos post. Give this video a thumbs up. Like this video so that this message can circulate around to the individuals that need to hear this. Share this video with someone if you feel like there's someone out there that you know that needs to hear this. Leave a comment down in the comment section below if this message resonates. And for those of you guys that are interested in booking a private personal reading with me, the link is in the description box below. All right, let's get started, Aries. Tell me about the new person or new love that Aries is dealing with here. What is this person currently thinking and feeling towards Aries? Sun, Moon, Rising, Venus signs for January 2022. I'm not going to take those. That's too many. Nine of Wands here and the Magician. So Virgo energy, Gemini energy. Could be dealing with any of those energies, okay? You could have those energies in your chart. And the Three of Swords and the Chariot. So whoever this person is that you're meeting here, okay? This person is actually still trying to move on from a past situation that they went through here. Uh, could be multiple past situations because it seems like this person is dealing with some trauma. This person is dealing with some heartache and despair. And I really feel like this person is really trying to move past it because I feel like this person has met someone that they perhaps really enjoy being around uh, you, uh, Aries. Keep in mind, get switched to roles if you want. Maybe this is you feeling this way, okay? We have the Ace of Swords here and the Page of Swords. Oh, look at you. There you are right here. Aries energy. Oh. You have the emperor to the empress here, okay? So it seems like you could have met your soulmate here, Aries. I mean, there's a lot of communication going on here. And I feel like this person has been really honest with you in regards to what they've been through here, you know? So I've j I just feel like Aries, you might... Perhaps you're trying to figure out what to do or you're, you're, perhaps you're just going with it, you know, and just trying to be patient and just ride it out to see what happens here. But it just seems like this person is really trying to get out of this um, trauma and pain that they've been through here. Uh, let's see what else we have here. All right, Nine of Wands. Tell me about this Nine of Wands here. I mean, you could be dealing with another Aries, okay? So we have Aries, Leo, not Leo, uh, Gemini, Virgo, Cancer, Libra, Aquarius, Gemini, any of those energies you could be dealing with here. You could have those energies in your chart. Nine of Wands, we have the Three of Cups here. Hmm. I feel like this person has met the one. Yeah, this person has been dating around, I feel. You know, just trying to see what what's out there. And I feel like this person has found someone that they like. And I feel like this person likes you a lot. But they're going through something here. They're going through something here. Uh, the Magician. You're the King of Wands. Aries, Leo, Sagittarius, Energy. 
So like I said, you could be dealing with a, another Aries here, or a Leo, or a Sag, Three of Swords, and the Five of Wands here. I mean, this person could have been using other people as a distraction too. So maybe meeting you is very unexpected for this person. Chariot. We have judgment here. Sagittarius energy. Scorpio energy. Could be dealing with any of those energies. Okay. Ace of Swords. And the Ace of Wands. I mean, this person's really attracted to you. And I feel like this person feels really comfortable speaking to you in regards to um, some conflict, some pain, some trauma that they went through here. I mean, I feel like this person has also gone through trauma with like friend groups and families and stuff like that. Um, Page of Swords. And then we have Justice. Libra Energy. Could be dealing with a Libra here. You might have Libra in your chart. And then we have the Nine of Swords on the bottom of the deck. So this person is suffering from some sort of anxiety stress, uh, sleepless nights. Um, and I really feel like this person is trying to move past it. I feel, I feel like, you know, this person might use you as a sounding board uh, to sort of help them balance out what they have gone through here. And that's really nice. But, um, you know, I feel like whoever this person is that you're dealing with here, it's important for this person to get treatment for their, um, you know, uh, what they've gone through. So let's see what else we have here. What is this person's long-term intentions with Aries here? What is this person's long-term intentions with Aries? Sun, moon, rising, and Venus signs for January 2022. What is this new person or new love? New love's um, long-term intentions with Aries here. Is too many. All right, let's try that again. Wow, two of cups. I mean, their long term intentions is to have a basically a committed relationship here with you. Okay, so like I said, I feel like you've met your soulmate here. It's just that perhaps it is bad timing because you're, uh, we have someone here that's going through all this stuff. Temperance. Yeah. So I feel like this person wants there to be union at some point. Okay. Um, and I feel like with the temperance card here, like I said, I feel like this person wants you to be patient with them as they go through um, their journey here. Um, so I feel like this person has been more than honest with you. I do feel that. You know, the Six of Swords and the Star. Yeah, be patient and allow this person to heal. Um, I do feel like, you know, I do feel like this person wants your support here too as they go through this healing here. Uh, perhaps you could inspire and support this person in their healing. You know, the Four of Cups here and the Magician again. Gemini energy, Virgo energy, Aquarius energy here, Sagittarius energy, uh, with Temperance, the star. And three of Cups here on the bottom of the deck. Yeah, I really feel like this person is really disengaging from meeting other people. And I feel like this person just wants to you know, take their sweet old time on this new journey here with you, okay? Sort of start off as friends and sort of let things naturally, um, you know, develop. So let's see what else we have here, Aries. Tell me about the Two of Cups. Why is it Two of Cups here? 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 Oh, two of cups in the ace of wands. Yeah, this is what this person wants with you. This is what this person wants with you. A relationship. I mean, I feel like this person is in no shape to be in a relationship right now. But I feel like this person is telling you that, uh, Aries, okay? Temperance. The king of pentacles. 
You know, I feel like this person is sees you as someone who's marriage material. I feel like this person's marriage material too. It's just that this person has gone through some stuff here. Six of Swords and the Two of Wands here. Okay, let's see. The Star and the Six of Swords again. I just feel like this um, this person that you're dealing with here is really choosing to move to calmer waters here, making a decisive decision here. You know. Um, I, I feel like this person has gone through multiple bouts of pain and heartbreak here. Four of Cups. And now, this doesn't have to be romantic. It could be, you know, uh, this person has experienced, like, multiple losses in the family or something like that. You know, conflict with family members or friends. Uh, losing a job. It could be anything. Eight of Pentacles and the Four of Cups. I feel like this person really wants to take the opportunity here to um, give this a shot, basically. The Magician and the Emperor, Aries Energy. I feel like you could be dealing with another Aries here. We have someone here that's really confident and knows that they have what it takes to make things great with you here. Oh, we have the King of Pentacles and the Queen of Pentacles. We have the Emperor to the Empress here. We have some true peers here, you guys. Okay. Um, you know, the only outside person that I'm seeing here is this King of Wands. So uh, this King of Wands could be someone that I'm feeling like the, this feminine energy is going through all this. Okay. Um, but I do feel as though, you know, maybe this King is trying to interject themselves into this connection here. Because like I said, we had someone here that was kind of dating around and then they met you. So, you know, I feel like they feel like they weren't supposed to really meet anyone. I feel like, they, like I said, they were just, you know, kind of meeting people just to distract themselves. But um, it just seemed sort of like, you know, kind of like a thing that was unexpected. Yeah, because it, it, it seems like, uh, you know, you met your soulmate or they, they feel like they met their soulmate. Okay, uh, so uh, Aries, if this was helpful, leave a comment down in the comment section below. Share this video, like this video. If you haven't done so yet, subscribe, hit the notification bell. I'll speak to you guys in the next one. Thanks. Bye.